Hi, this is Matt Saturnus for Plugged In Golf, and in this video, I'm going to review the Ping G30 Hybrid. Let's get plugged in. Now, with the quality of the G30 irons, drivers, and fairway woods, you might think the hybrid is an afterthought. It just kind of got a fresh coat of paint for the G30 line. But a lot of new engineering went into the G30 compared to the G25, and the results are outstanding. In terms of the look, the G30 Hybrid is pretty similar to the i25, actually. Uh, it's got kind of a thin uh, top line, so to speak, right next to the ball, and then a matte black. The rest of the crown is a matte black. Uh, it's a little bit on the bigger side for a hybrid, um, slightly asymmetrical in shape. One thing you'll notice is that as you move up in lofts, the hybrids get bigger, and that's part of that engineering that I mentioned. It makes a lot of sense that you'd want a bigger, more forgiving club when it's a longer, less lofted club. And when you've got a, a higher lofted club like the 22 degree here, you want something that's a little bit smaller and going to make you feel maybe a little more precise. At impact, the sound of the G30 hybrid is probably the best sounding ping hybrid I've ever hit. It's a really nice, solid metallic crack. Sounds really hot without sounding uh, like the face is really thin or hollow or, or shrill. Uh, so there's a really good sound overall. And as you move off the center of the face, that sound gets a little bit duller. You get a good feel in your hands for where you hit it. So you do get really nice, nice feedback from this club as well. The two most standout qualities of this club when you take it to the course or on the range are how easy it is to launch and how consistent it is. Uh, just as I said about the hybrid, if you really get that ball even one or two grooves on the face, it gets up in the air on a nice playable trajectory. Ping always does a great job with the G series of making them really forgiving and really helpful in terms of getting the ball up in the air. Now, kind of the wizardry of it is that when you hit it really flush, it doesn't go too high. Um, so they've, they've found a way to make this club so that it's easy to launch, but you still get a strong ball flight. The spin on this is actually pretty low, not super low in that like distance hybrid category where your shots are gonna run through greens but low enough that you're going to get a nice strong ball flight even if you're playing in the wind. The other thing, as I mentioned, was consistency. On shots that I hit well, uh, the spin rates for the spin rate for this club was within 200 RPMs, which is almost negligible. So you're going to get the same ball flight time after time. You're not going to see one that pierces through the wind and then one that balloons on shots that you felt like you hit the same. Uh, and even when you get off the center a little bit, the spin rate doesn't fall through the floor or go through the roof. Uh, it's still pretty consistent even when you, you miss the center pretty significantly. So if you're looking for a club that's going to be really easy to hit and give you consistent results, and who isn't, uh, the G30 Hybrid is definitely one that I would check out. If you have any questions about the Ping G30 Hybrid, please post them down below and I'll be happy to answer them. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also follow Plugged In Golf on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and check out PluggedInGolf.com for more great golf content. This has been Matt Saturnus. Thanks for watching.